rain. We, we need considerable moisture rainfall uh, soon and very soon. The state is seeing record-breaking temperatures this summer that has not only increased health risks, but also negatively affected agriculture and farmers. It's the worst drought we've seen in a long, long time, especially south of Interstate 20. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say every crop south of I-20 is going to die as a result of this drought. The heat has affected livestock, including their ability to gain weight. Because of the dryness and lack of moisture on the ground, water and hay production is down, putting farmers in a bind. Andy Berry, the executive director of the Mississippi Cattle Association, says he and other farmers have had to adjust. Like I said, culling or liquidating their herds. Uh, you know, you're moving uh, cattle into hay fields that you would ordinarily be, be planning to cut for hay, and so you're going to lose that crop as well. If no rain comes in the next few weeks, there won't be another cutting before the fall, which means farmers are going into the winter season with low hay stock creating an ongoing problem that affects their herd. Our farm Farmers are persevering. It's not our farmers first time to deal with this, but to have this severity at this long a time and this heat level 100, 104, 105 for like 12 days, that's not happened before. Farmers are encouraged to find their local farm service agency office to report their drought to make sure it's reflected in the USDA records to trigger and gain relief. In Jackson Kennedy Cooper 16 WBT News.